what to do with no hard shot. I just jump out the pool with dirty glove bounced. Hey. We just turned up on this, do some rap, and we shut down the party. I just do about 10, and ain't no pressure. Got 20 in my. <laughs> All right, so we got no hard shot jumping off the porch with us today. Yeah, man. Yeah, what's up? What's up? Man, I'm feeling great. How you feeling today, man? I'm feeling good. Happy to be here. Nah, definitely, man. I appreciate you swinging by today, too, man. And go ahead and introduce everyone you got sitting behind you today, too, man. Yeah, man. You know, you know I got my hitter with me. I got D, J Bo, Baby J, and Stats, man. Okay. That's what's good, man. So, what else you got shaking here in Atlanta during this trip, man? You got some more work planned? Uh, yeah, we finna go shoot a couple videos out there, probably hit the studio. Okay. Working on a little EP right now. Really? Yeah. Okay. How do you like the vibes here in Atlanta compared to back at home then? I love Atlanta. It's my second home. Yeah. I love Atlanta. If I ain't in Memphis, I'm in Atlanta. They be showing you a lot of love down here? Most of my fan base be from the A. For real? From the A in Mississippi, yep. Okay. That makes sense though, man. Alright, so first off, what part of Memphis you from, man? <laughs> Fraser, North okay. Memphis. Yep. Alright, so kind of just talk about the life and the culture up there in Frazier, man. Man, I love my city, but, you know, we standing on, they standing on the building down there, and they, it, it, it get crazy down there. I don't know, my side of town, you know what I'm saying, we, I really just be out the way. We're just trying to be out the way, because it, it be a lot going on in the city right now. Oh, yeah. Nowadays, it's too much going on in the city. Like, I'm out the way or I'm out the city, yeah. basically. Any plans to go ahead and just like relocate then, kind of get out there full time? Yeah, I, I got a plan to try to get out. Yo, nah, move smart, ace man. out. Yeah, nah, definitely, man. No okay, count. There's already in motion. Yeah. So, like, growing up in Memphis, man, what was you into it as a kid, man? Really, I would, when I was growing up, I, I started out playing football. Okay. But like, sixth grade, I just started rapping. Ever since sixth grade, I've been rapping. Sixth grade. Yeah, that, I used to get a little, little viral video. I used to uh, rap in the school bathroom. For just real? have everybody in the bathroom recording me rapping. Oh, Beating shit. on the wall, rapping. Hmm. Yep. What inspired you back then to start at it? Uh, I'd say a couple artists inspired me to rap. Like, I love music, so I listen to all different types of music. Like, hmm. you know, a lot of. A lot of artists, especially artists that came from Memphis, you know, some of them inspired me, especially like, you know, Yo God or something. Listen to them growing up, I wanted to rap. It yeah. seemed like the thing to do, and I just like rhyming. I feel that, man. So you mentioned other kind of music. What, what was you listening to? Some R&B, some man, oldies? What yeah, was you on? I, I love R&B. Like the old school, I love all the pimping. I love Bobby Womack, David Wolfram. I, li I listen to all of it. Yeah. I listen to all music, really. That's that timeless classic music right uh, yeah. there, man. I can ride around and just listen to that all day instead of this new, you know, unless it's me. Yeah. Listen to me or that pimp. You be telling your producer to go ahead and sample some of that shit too? I be trying, I be sending them little samples to make me, you know. Nah, that's all right there. So when would you say you jumped off the porch, how old were you? I, I, I can say like a specific age, I'm about 13. Okay. Easily about 13, you know, I used to go to my dad's house because I used to get my way with him. <laughs> me, and my, me and my mama used to bump head, you know, I got put out when I was about 14. Hmm. It's just then I, you know, with my dad, it jumped off the porch real early. Okay. Was he kind of like guiding you, at least telling you what to do, what not to do? Or were you yeah, just out he, there he, he guided me from right to wrong, you know what I'm saying? But it was more what I wanted to do, you know, that trouble child shit. <laughs> <laughs> what type of trouble was you getting into back Man, then? All type of trouble. Just now that I look back on just unnecessary bullshit. Really wouldn't even worked it, but they haven't so. Yeah. I'm I here. feel like most kids, most teenagers, they go through that phase. Man, you gotta learn. Well you just mistakes. be doing the stupidest yeah. shit ever. Just man. stupid. Just out here doing stupid shit. Nah, for real. So what was like one of the biggest lessons you had to learn, you know, while you were growing up? Man. Oh, uh, Big listen growing up. Shit, being hard headed, not listening. Certain shit my mama said, and then like when I got locked up, she showed me like, that what your ass get, you gonna learn type shit. <laughs> and when no, I'm finna come, I'm finna come down there and get you. Like, nah, I bet you gonna learn. So. I dig that, man. So when would you say you started taking music serious, figure out, I'm gonna put some money into this shit, I'm gonna put some time into this. This is what I want I ain't, to I ain't gonna lie, I've been rapping so long, like, 
I had met Scooter when I was like 17. Mm. I was in 12th grade working at Nike. Cause yeah. I had a little girl on the way. I had stopped playing football, really stopped going to school. Mm. Like towards the end of my 12th grade year, I had stopped going to school trying to work. But I had met Scooter. I'm like, yeah, nigga, I can rap. You know what I'm saying? He was like, nah, you can't write. I had rap to him. He ended up having a real studio. I ain't never been in a real studio. You know, I used to record myself on my computer, my little laptop. Yeah. I had a little mic from Walmart. I used to record myself in the closet. Shit sound raggedy as hell. You, you go find the old shit all on YouTube. I sound like a little, you know, little, little voice. <laughs> I'm talking about shit just crazy. But I had ended up getting in the, in the studio for the, the, the first time, like the real time with school day, 9-5. Yeah. Uh, he just molded me, cause when I first started rapping, I was on some young dumb shit, on some hot head shit, fuck them, fuck them, woo woo, on some beefy shit in my mirrors, but he had molded me, you know, that rapping, the how I rap today type shit, it comes to school. Okay. So do you write your raps or you just be punching in? I write my rap. All, all my songs, I ain't even gonna lie, like, I be freestyling and shit. I can freestyle, if I'm feeling it, if I'm in a mood, you know what I'm saying, I might, ah, uh, go and hop on some freestyle, punch me in school, but, if you know, like my hit, like my real songs is gonna be my best if I write it. Yeah. How long you usually take you to write a song then? It it depends on how much I like this song because <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, you got I got you got J on them. I put on some beats. I, I say I go listen about three beats. I like all three beats. I start writing on all three on I just go back and forth. Really? So it might take me a week, but I might be through with two on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it really the ones that I like the most. I'm just gone, oh, hurry up, get finished with it. Because I like it so much, but other sometimes I be brain fall and I had to come back to it. I go write something else on something else until I come back. Cause I don't like you know rushing rushing my thoughts and shit, and then, you know be making sense and shit. Then I go back delete it, start all over. Yeah, nah, that's smart, man. Cause like you said, when you usually rush shit, listeners can tell yeah. that should be rushed. You be talking about the when, same shit, especially over. when you just throwing some shit together. They gonna know that. Real yep. shit, man. <laughs> so what, what do you? <laughs> So like what mood do you feel like brings out the best out of you and your music right now? I ain't gonna lie, when I started writing, I mean at first, it was like more what a nigga was going through in life. I used to put it in my mood, so it was more like you heard the pain in that nigga voice. But now I be trying to, I done experienced another side of life like far as being around, you know, rappers in the industry and all that. Like I got another experience so I can rap about that now. I ain't gotta just rap about pain shit no more. Yeah. So. What's been one of the biggest sacrifices you had to make for you to be able to pursue this career then? My scooter being on my ass, I had to sacrifice a lot of shit because at points, I, I didn't even want to rap. I mean, like I was saying, fuck this shit, it, you know? I'm through with this shit. They used to be on my ass, him, J-Bo, I was like, nah, you gotta keep going. They really pushed me. Like, I have been rapping, you know what I'm saying? Just putting shit out here and there, but I wasn't taking it serious. I was just like, I'll put it out, let's do what it do, and don't do shit for it. We weren't doing shit. We were burning in views, you know? Mm -hmm. And you're like, damn. But last year, I say what? Like the middle of last year? I say like the middle of last year, we had just started taking this shit serious. Like, schooling and, and my bro, like, uh, Wild Dog, they had just got on my ass, like, you know, if, if in the time to take out, like, and then he had end up getting signed and shit, so it was really time for me to stop bullshit. And I had to go on, ah, yeah. start putting this shit out. So shit, I said, like, middle of last year, I had start dropping shit, start getting a little buzz at the end of last year. And then, like, the beginning of this year, I just been, every two weeks, been putting shit out, mm -hmm. showing they at. If they ain't want to hear it first, I'm going to put it in their face. <laughs> For real, I'm going to make them folks hear this shit. Yeah, you got to. You got man. to, and you can't say I ain't hard. You just, hey. Yep. So, got how you treat. liking that, you know, since you shit been blowing up this past, you know, six months or so, how oh, you yeah. been enjoying this shit? They've been noticing this shit, like, a lot of motherfuckers that, you know, you look up to or you would think why well, I ain't even listen to you type shit. Like, I've been noticing motherfuckers listening to me. They like, bro, keep going, you hard. So, yeah. you know, I, I got faith in this shit, you know? Just positive, you know what I'm saying? We doing it, though. Nah, for real. So how long you been on Walk Dog now? My shit. We, we been out. I say about two. Two going on three years. Okay. Yep. Um. We had fur linked up and shit. You know, I, I already locked in with school. Mm -hmm. At this time, we, we like brothers down there because I met him when I'm 17, I'm 25 now. Mm -hmm. So he been molding me ever since then, but I say about two years ago, you know, we still just on high. We were just putting music out, but he had, like, bro, I got this nigga I want you to meet. 
you know, I'm tear toe by my nigga, you know. I was like, who, you know, I don't fuck with too many folk. So, boom, walk down, walking that motherfucker. Tall, skinny as a motherfucker. <laughs> Putting his head down when he walking the door and shit. I'm like, damn, what did this? For real, though. That my nigga, though, uh, you know, real nigga see eye to eye. We linked up, shit, we clicked. As soon as we linked up, you know, him, his brother, JR, you know, like, we just linked up, like, you know, we family now and shit, but he walked in there, like, I got a nigga, I want you to hear. Walked out, went in there, I think he dropped Suzanne. Mm. That motherfucker hard to hear, but I ain't tell him. You ain't tell him why not? I ain't tell him, I told school. <laughs> okay, God damn, that nigga hard as a motherfucker. Like, he was in that motherfucker rapping, like, this shit was hard. Like, usually he bring motherfuckers in there, don't, don't, don't rap her shit. He actually was rapping about something. Then he had come to me like, he was like, bro, I've been listening to your shit too. At the time, like, damn. Cause that shit old, you know, just shit I was uploading on SoundCloud, just bullshit. I record myself damn near. Mm -hmm. And he listened to that shit. I was like, damn, how the fuck he know about that shit? So oh, shit, we clicked up every It just been up every since. It been low every since. So how, motiv how motivating was it to see him, you know, sign his deal and be like, uh, I know I can make this shit now too, man. Come on in like, man, this shit right there, this shit motivated me so hard in a whole nother level. Like, it ain't even the fact that he made it because before he made it, you know, them late nights in the studio, we, you know, we always said whoever make it first, you know, we straight forever, you know, it little feel, woo, woo, woo. I made it first, he made it first. It ain't never been like that. Like, my nigga, man, I said, man. But I remember getting that call. I had to fly where we flew to Miami when he first signed. My shit was like, dream come true. I would have his hell, no cap, just to be around the shit. Yeah. Like, experience this shit. I'm with Wall Dog in the industry, goddamn it. I said, this shit crazy. Like, this shit getting real type shit. Nah, so it made me buckle down, like, you know, I put, get on it. Nah, get on, definitely. turn up. Yeah. So, how did the record last month come about, man? Man. Just shit like you just said, when, when he first signed, like when he first signed, it just, like you could tell when I'm rapping in there what I'm rapping about, like that's a whole nother side. Then I did Big Rashad or um, rapping about pain shit no more. Mm -hmm. There's no hard, new shit, like, <coughs> yo. Yeah. Price, it wouldn't know hit me up if you're ready, for real. Like this shit wouldn't know for real, like, I, them shit was facts. Everything I said in this song was facts. So when we came into that little lifestyle, I just, ah, just tick. As soon as I heard the beat, just start uh, ticking on it more. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I fuck with that much. Nah, that shit been going crazy. Uh, so who reached out to Wicked? Did you reach out to him? Was Walk like, man, let, let's go let's go Wicked on this one? Man, nah, Walk Dog was already working with Wicked, you know? It was kind of hard to get over Wicked at the time. Like, everybody wanted to fuck oh, with yeah. Wicked. So, boom, Walk had, you know, they were fucking off too. Because uh, he was already doing a live performance and shit. I went, you know, but... Uh, I had one walk up there one day, and she, me and Wicked had ended up meeting, meeting up and shit. He was like, shit, he was finna introduce me to Wicked. Wicked already knew me. I said, damn. You know oh, what you I'm saying? Oh, you know, he tapped in, bro. Yeah, the world, world, the world small as hell. Like, <laughs> I'm thinking I'm finna meet this nigga. What's up, bro? I don't know how woo -woo. he already knew who I was. So she, he was like, yeah, I know you. Come on, let's go. I'm talking about, yeah, I fuck with Wicked, bro. Shout out to Wicked, man. You know what I'm saying? Wicked Films, tap in. My brother was like, come on. Shit, we tapped in. He uh, instantly put me back there. I wasn't even ready. Really? I ain't gonna lie, I ain't even wanna drop last month. I ain't wanna do that on my live form. Hmm. Man, they wanted me to do that motherfucking, and that's the one that popped. Like, that's crazy. It's like they knew that shit was gonna go They up. knew. Wall Dog, Wicked, and, and uh, Jay. Cause they dropped that last month. Yeah. Dropped that motherfucker. I wanted to drop a whole nother song. Hmm. No cap. I'm glad I dropped that motherfucker. Nah, for real. So did it take off right away? Like as soon as that bitch dropped, it, it did numbers or it took a couple of weeks for it to pick up? Or? I say, <clears throat> I say it really was another level anyway to me when I first dropped it because seeing them numbers, I wasn't used to it. When we used to drop, you know what I'm saying? I can say our expectation like we hit 3,000 on that motherfucker. We know we ain't finna, you know, we were burning again views and shit. Couple months, I say about five months, niggas hit 3,000 views or something on the video. Shit, that motherfucker right there, what they were doing? 10K a week, 15K a week. Like, we could come like, bro, this motherfucker going up. They fucking with it, for real. They, they just was tapping in, and it never stopped running up. Yeah. I said, next time I looked at it, it was 100,000. I said, damn. 
And this time it was 500,000. I'm thinking this shit gonna slow down. When I saw 500, when I saw 50,000, I said, oh yeah, we celebrate. We ain't never hit that before. So it's definitely a milestone we crossed though. Yeah. Diff. So what'd you think when he hit that down? Right. I was shocked like a motherfucker. I couldn't even believe it. I ain't gonna lie. I couldn't even believe it. Like this a nigga dream, like we gotta hit a million. Everybody wanna hit a million. Mm -hmm. You know, you hit a million, you uh, you think it's dick. Man, I hit that M, I said, yeah, it's up. They want this shit, so I'm gonna just keep putting this shit in their neck. Yeah. In their face. Yeah, you just dropped that suit up too, man. That shit hard, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was the inspiration on that song? Man, shit, at the studio on some high shit. Just, we just be playing beats, I just, uh, got the ticket on it. Suit up. You know, I had, I had, like I said, I be writing like two songs at a time. I dropped two on, I dropped suit up in another one. Scooter wanted suit up to come out. He was like, man, that motherfucker, get this hard shit. We put that motherfucker out. Fuck it. We ain't holding it no more. Man, I got so much shit on my phone, the world never heard before. Hmm. Ask them, man, I, I got so many songs on my phone, nobody ever heard. For real, but. I'm finna start driving this shit though. Yeah, especially once you got that momentum going, you can't yeah, slow down that. Now can't. you gotta keep putting it in their face, man. I'm gonna keep this shit in their face. I'm, we trying to drop like every two weeks. I'm, I'm gonna have some fresh every two weeks. Yeah. That first and third going up too, man. Oh, uh, yeah, this my. I folk this song. Try to switch it up, you know, take them back to them, some trap shit. Get them for what they wanna hear. Nah, Tell a little bit to come over here, smash, get out of there. <laughs> you gonna drop a video for Backwood Flow? Man, I ain't gonna lie. Backwood Flow, I just, I was holding on to it. I said, fuck, just let me put it out. I put it out, I'm motherfucker fucking with it. Mm -hmm. I say, nah, I ain't gonna do no video to it though. I'm gonna just let them eat up on the audio. Cause okay. I got some, if they want that Backwood Flow type shit, I got some shit coming on the way. Trust me. <laughs> this, man, this shit finna be hard, I'm telling you. Yeah. My next project, this shit finna be hard. You got a title picked out for the project? Yeah, we can't, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to get on no idea. We just going to pop out with it. Okay. You been working with any other features, or you kind of just been recording <coughs> yourself? <coughs> yeah, mine, I just been working by myself right now. Yeah. And, you know, I'm going uh, to probably start doing features after I drop an EP or some shit. I'm okay. just trying to get my shit out there right now. Yeah. You know. What about producer-wise, who you been working with? Really nobody but, you know, school. The only person I fuck with, you know. I've been tapping in with um, VS on the Beats, mm -hmm. you know. He been, I've been tapping in with him. I fuck with him and his shit. But mine, this shit is school. You know, they been trying to hit me up now, though. Yeah. A whole I'm lot sure, on. man. <laughs> A whole lot on. <laughs> so I'm different finna work, you know, get some work in. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about the music scene in Memphis, man. So much talent coming out that city, man. Right. Everybody rapping in Memphis. I ain't gonna lie. We got our own little style. Like, this shit hard. Everybody looking in Memphis right now. Mm -hmm. So shit, why not? Go for it. Yep. Yeah, Memphis has always had its own style, too, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Memphis be doing the thing. It cover Memphis all as I fuck with. Yeah. Sure. So I feel like to be like part of that new wave coming out the city right now. Shit, what I've been looking for a, whole, a long ass time. Hmm. They finally here, like, fuck it. Is it. We finna take advantage of it. You see what I'm saying? Because we've been wanting it. Shit, I knew the shit was gonna come. Yep. And what type of impact and influence would you say Memphis has had on the rap game, too, man? A whole lot of influence. A lot of these motherfuckers wouldn't even be what they is today without Memphis. Like, Memphis play a big part in this shit. They know that, like that Memphis style, you ain't getting it nowhere. Atlanta got they style, up north got they style and the D and shit. Memphis is Memphis though. Yep. You know Memphis when you heard it, for sure. It's like everyone tapping into those Memphis producers trying to get that sound too. Bro. Oh yeah, then it's a couple of Memphis producers that's, that's made it, they big, mm -hmm. for real. Bag on these folks shit and shit, taking these folks off. Folks that I know, you know what I'm saying, from Memphis. This shit crazy, like. Memphis definitely. Real shit. So you still independent? Ah uh, yeah. You know, at the moment, yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I ain't signed to nobody. Yeah. So I'm sure labels been reaching out, man. What do you want out of out of a label if you were to sign, man? They been reaching out, but you know, it really just sometimes I need about the money, you know what I'm saying? It's really the platform. I get the platform, it's up. 
because they really all on me. Yeah. I get the platform. This is all I need. I'm telling you, it's going to be up. Nah, I feel that. So what has being a father taught you about life? Being a father? Yeah. My all type of shit. Mistakes. I'm talking about. It grow you up. For real. Like, it grew me up a whole lot. Because I, I started having them when I was young as hell. Yeah, you said you was in 12th grade, right? Yeah, I was in 12th grade. So I really learned a lot. You know what I'm saying? What's some advice you would share with the youth for the new generation coming up right now? Well, I ain't gonna lie. The little generation, but it's like we getting old here because it's like the little generation in the city now, they stepping on shit. Them young niggas, man, them young niggas crazy in me, for real. I understand. No I'm cow. It seems like we the old heads now. Like, <laughs> we used to be on this little young dumb shit now. Like, damn, these for really wild. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Gotta stop it. No cow. Why do you think it is like that in Memphis right now? Shit, I say a lot of negative influences. Hmm. You know, they just going with they move. <laughs> Basically. Is it like a lack of OGs, lack of guidance out there right now? Yo, it's a lot of it. It's a lot of it. It's a lot of, it's a lot of whole, a lot of everything in Memphis. Hmm. Just fucked up, you know. But shit, I'm from them of us, so I love it. I don't know why, I just love the city. I feel that. So what's next for you? What else you got planned for 2022? Come on. I ain't gonna lie. This the year. For sure. This the year. When we finna go, we got all type of shit planned. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. We got all type of shit planned. Like everything in milestone. I'm jumping out the pool of dirty glue. See what I'm saying? We dirt. We doing it this year for sure. Absolutely, man. Now you definitely on your way, bro. Yo. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. You got any shout outs you like to give before we wrap it up here? Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you been not lit up too, man. Go fool with my nigga, man. You been not lit up on Instagram, man. Go fool with Mooney for sure. You know what I'm saying? Hey. 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 We finna turn up. My different. We just turned up on this. Do some rap, bitch. We shut down the party. I just do about 10 and ain't no pressure. Got 20 in my pocket. My nigga so icy.